Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this episode of Practical Applications of Science, we'll be covering the study titled Delayed Effects of a Low Volume Power Type Resistance Exercise Session on Explosive Performance from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research published in 2018. In this study, they recruited 17 subjects, all of which were either power sport athletes or team sport athletes. And the authors claim that they were all well trained with a mean half squat one rep max of 163 kilograms. It's unclear whether this meant that the squat was to a depth where the thighs were parallel to the ground or if they were defining that as a full squat and the half squat meant that it was only half of that depth, which may be termed a quarter squat by other parties. Regardless, the athletes had obviously lifted some weights before and were at least moderately trained. These 17 athletes then performed five sets of four repetitions of squat jumps with 40% of their one rep max squat, and that was in the first condition. In the second condition, they did no training at all. They just rested. All athletes performed the intervention under both of these conditions twice each. That is, they performed the jump squats twice, and the resting condition twice, all separated by one week. The researchers wanted to find out if performance could be improved over the next two days after performing the jump squat session. So what they did was test the athletes before the training intervention, and then 24 hours later and 48 hours later. So they did the same protocol for the athletes when they did the jump squats, and when they did no training at all to see if the jump squats could improve performance to a greater degree than simply resting and doing no training. The tests they use were the counter movement jump, reactive strength index derived from a drop jump, maximum isometric force from a leg press, and also rate of force development from the leg press. So to summarize the protocol, the athletes perform baseline testing, then they did either jump squats or no training, and then they were tested 24 and 48 hours after the intervention and compared the test results to the baseline testing. So what happened? These two graphs here are showing the changes in performance compared with baseline in both the jump squat condition and in the rest condition or the control group as labeled on the graph. The graph on the left shows that at 24 hours after the jump squat session, the counter movement jump height was increased by more than 5% compared to baseline, while the control groups was insignificantly different from baseline. We can also see that at 48 hours post, performance was also greater than baseline by around 3%, while performance in the control group was essentially at baseline level. A similar trend was seen with the drop jump reactive strength index. Performance was increased by nearly 11%, at 24 hours post and around 5% at 48 hours, while the control group did not significantly alter performance over the same time frame. Rate of force development on the leg press also saw a similar trend. The jump squat group improved performance at 24 hours post, especially within the first 100 milliseconds, and performance only within the first 100 milliseconds was increased at 48 hours post. This means that force was able to be produced faster within the first one second of the leg press, although the speed of force produced over the two and three second period was not improved quite as much. And once again, the control group at both 24 hours and at 48 hours post did not significantly improve performance at all. I should also mention that maximal isometric force on the leg press was not any different from baseline in either the jump squat or the resting group. So what does all this mean from a practical standpoint? Well, it appears that explosive performance is improved 24 hours after a low volume power training session, although maximal strength doesn't seem to be influenced. Therefore, athletes who may benefit from increases in explosive performance in their sport may seek to perform a low volume power training session 24 hours before a competition or match in order to enhance physical performance for that upcoming match. This is likely to enhance performance to a greater extent 
than simply resting and doing no training the day before the match or competition. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.